Hello beautiful people, I'm Tracy and today we're going to talk about oils. So. These are going to be my favorite oils that I use as a moisturizing oil and also as a sealant oil. And then I'm, I actually threw in some growth oil tips as well. The first thing we're going to talk about is moisturizing oils. These are not going to, should not be used as sealants. I did that mistake and my hair would always be so dry. It's important to know which oils you should use for what. So for moisturizing oils, you use it when you want to add it to your deep conditioner or you want to add it to your leave-in or you want to add it um, uh, um, oh, as a greenhouse method. I love using one of these specifically um, that's in here for my greenhouse method. It helps me so much with detangling process doing wash day. So let me get into it. You guys want to know. It's like, okay, Tracy, let's get to it. So the first one is olive oil. I love this. I got it from Publix. <laughs> they had to buy one, get one free. This oil, it's so hydrating for my hair. In the winter time, I love mixing this with my leave-in conditioner. In the summertime, I don't really need it as much because of like the humidity, but it's so dry here um, during the winter time that I need this. And at least my hair is so nice. It doesn't have a smell. Well, it, I feel like it's it has a smell, but the leave-in conditioner um, overrides it. Oh, it's so oily. <laughs> my other one that's a moisturizing oil is the coconut oil. Coconut oil is a great moisturizing oil. I use this actually for my greenhouse method. The chemical size of the coconut oil is so small that it can actually go into your hair shaft without even trying. The other ones you have to add heat, you have to try to open up your hair shaft even more for it to even penetrate. This baby gets in there with that help. It's so nice, I love it. I got this from Trader Joe's and if you hate coconut smells, they actually sell the triple filtered one, which does the same thing, it just doesn't have the coconut smell. But I like the coconut smell, I'm from the islands, so you know. <laughs> Last one is avocado oil. I don't have it with me right now, but I used to use it all the time before I got into the um, extra virgin olive oil. So the next oils I'm gonna talk about are the sealing oils. Sealing oils are so crucial for high porosity girls. I cannot say that enough. It's so important. So it's important for any natural, but it's so important for high porosity girls. I like to do the LCO method where the oil just seals in all that moisture I just put in my hair. I'm not playing any games. I don't want to have dry hair. So my favorite one to use is actually the jojoba oil from Trader Joe's. I ran out <laughs> last wash day. I love the jojoba oil so much. It doesn't leave my hair feeling weighed down. It feels fluffy. It doesn't have a bad smell. It's really good and it leaves a little shine on my hair. I love this. This is a great sealant. I also use it on my scalp. It helps so much with my dandruff issues, the itchiness. It's just so good for the winter time. This oil is the only one that's similar to our own oils that our body produces called sebum. So sebum is a reason that your hair looks shiny, but because we have curly hair, it's hard for the sebum to go down. That's why you should massage your hair every now and then for about five minutes. The next sealing oil that I love is my Haitian black castor oil. I just put it in this so I can put it in my scalp. This one, I use it differently. So I do use it as a sealant. I love sealing my ends with it because it helps with um, length retention, but I also use it on my scalp. My other favorite is the Camille Rose um, Growth Serum. So this one, I really like this one. Um, it smells so good. It really helps with my hair. Um, it leaves my hair very moisturized. I use it when I'm doing a refreshing style. So in the middle of the week when my hair is a little dry, I kind of refresh my twist and I put this as my sealant. The last one is the mint almond oil from Yellow Organics. I love this one so much. Like, I don't know if you can hear it. It's, it doesn't have that much. I loved using this as my... Um, like as a moisturizing oil because it doesn't like some so some oils you can't know if it's a sealant or a um, moisturizing oil because they mix a lot of different oils together but I like you just listen to your hair I like using this as a moisturizing oil it leaves my hair so hydrated I use this kind of oil doing um, refreshing days too so if I'm not using this one I use this one but this one's my favorite it just smells really good I love that minty freshness it just that's a good oil it's just it's so good. You can put it on your scalp as well. That's why I think it's um, one of the best oils that I have. And that's it. 
we're done. Those are my favorite oils. I really want to know what your favorite oils are. Please put them down in the comments so we can talk about it. Make sure to know the oils that you're using. Using the wrong oil can really dry your hair because moisturizing oils cannot seal in that moisture. It's just going to go bye-bye <laughs> if you have had porosity hair. So for a low porosity hair, I'm not sure how that works because your hair does seal pretty fast um, and holds the moisture by itself. So I'm not sure if the oils, using the wrong oils will affect you. But that's it. We're at the end of this video. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. I can't wait for us to grow our family together and grow our curls. All right, bye. <laughs>